Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom. Today I just want to show you an air conditioner that I'm working on here. This air conditioner just won't run. Nothing runs, something starts. And so I'm taking the cover off here and I'm already seeing something that is very much indicating to me that my guess is this thing has got a bad capacitor. So check this out. At first I thought maybe this was water, um, but this is not water. This is oil. And the main thing that oil can be coming from inside this compartment is the capacitor. So here we go, we're going to take this cover off. Oh my goodness. Look at that capacitor. So this is what can potentially happen with your capacitor. Uh, these things are designed in such a way that this is not supposed to happen. Uh, they are not that, that this this capacitor has literally exploded. Now it looks to me like it also shorted up above, up in there. Right now we still have power going to this unit theoretically. Uh, I have not checked for power yet, uh, but this is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna show you a couple more things on this capacitor once I once I get it out. So I have the power turned off now in the disconnect panel right here and uh, one of the fuses is definitely blown I tested these fuses the way you do that is just with a simple continuity test and uh, if you put the terminals across and it beeps then we know that, that one is okay this one is not beeping at all so I know I'm gonna have to get a new fuse for that but right now I don't have power coming in here so I got my uh, my clamp free on this this is a 35.5 capacitor. Oh man, super nasty. Okay, so what I want to show you is in the top of this capacitor, these things are supposed to be designed in such a way that when they become pressurized, they should not explode. They should just disconnect the terminals in the top of this thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can pull this apart a little more so you can see what's going on with it. Now, I have not done this in a long time either so this oil probably isn't good to get on your hands but probably be okay. So normally what you see is you see a capacitor that's bulging and maybe I'll grab one out of my van so you can see what they look like when they normally fail but not exploded like this. So underneath here uh, this plate is kind of moved Anyway, if I, I'm just gonna break this up, there we go. All right, so normally there you'd have, you know, here's one of the terminals, two, and then there'd be a third one. But the thing is just totally melted down so you can't see much of what was there. But let me show you on the top part of this. Uh, there's a piece of plastic disc in here and it's got three holes in it where these terminals can go through the plastic to make connection with the top of the capacitor body underneath it. So these little pins right here go through these plastic holes and then connect onto the points on the capacitor where they need to. So the way this is supposed to work is as this capacitor becomes pressurized due to malfunction or overheating or whatever, capacitors just go bad, it's supposed to swell here and push up until those pins disconnect themselves from the rest of the capacitor to prevent it from exploding. In this case for some reason that did not happen and it stayed connected long enough to where it actually pushed the top right off of that capacitor. So uh, this is a 35.5 capacitor. I'm going to go get a new one here now and uh, also try to see if I have one that you can look at that didn't explode but definitely failed. Hang on. So I want to show you I had three other bad capacitors in my van yet. <clears throat> and here is the first one. Now what's interesting about this one is it does not have as much of a bulge to it as some of them develop. But this one is indeed bad. I did test this and this one does not check out so I had to replace this one. So this is your less typical scenario where you'll have one that just fails. Here are the more common scenarios. As you can see, this one's bubbled out 
those terminals underneath these each one of these posts disconnected from the capacitor before it ruptured so that that this is exactly how it's supposed to work and then it contains all the oil and it doesn't leak everywhere sometimes they'll leak a little bit but they don't explode like the other one and here's another one that's the same deal uh, this was a bigger, little bit bigger capacitor and it bulged out and disconnected those terminals again here are those terminals as this thing bulges out these terminals are supposed to disconnect from the rest of the capacitor body